Uh, you can call them live, 203-265-6310. Yeah, 6310? Okay, we'll go with that. Something 6, like that. 6310, if you call the wrong number, apologize completely and blame it on us. Yeah, because it'll be on the screen in some sort Momentary. of amount of time. Momentary. Yeah. Just, okay. So, uh, what are we talking about today? Um, we're talking <laughs> about cell phones, uh, particularly the iPhone versus Windows 7 phone that just was released. And uh, to be honest, I don't like a lot of Microsoft stuff. Um, <laughs> no wow. way! Who, what, who, what would make you say that, Tom? It's junk. <laughs> the stuff they put I, out. I is don't know. Junk. I don't think you've talked about at all on this show that I you don't, hate. Yeah, you know, yeah really? No. Yeah. Okay, so the stuff they put out, complete trash. I mean, no offense. I mean, I like Office. It's the only program I'd use just because it's it's Office. Open Office. Dude. Trash. <laughs> I hate Open Office. So, um. Uh, besides Office, they haven't really put out very much. I mean, Windows, the operating system, Microsoft, Sucks. has put out and is probably, I can probably say, the most widely used operating system. But um, to be honest, it's not that good. Um, I don't, it's probably the reason it's widely used is because of the uh, easy-to-use interface and the, I don't know how to say it, I forgot, um, blank. UI? No, the user interface. Yeah, the UI. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's the, uh, it's easier to use for other people. Yeah. For the user, it's easy. But it's for professionals. If, yeah, but if you're trying to use something advanced. So. Well, let's go on the topic. Do you know anything about the iPhone? I mean, the, uh, not the iPhone, the Win Windows, Windows 7? 7? Yeah. Um, Windows, I know Windows it was 7? very, it, well, first of all, background knowledge, Windows 7, or Windows came out. Oh, oh my god. We're introducing a topic. Hello, welcome to Suck Deck. Hello, Tom. Hi, Katie. What's going on? I'm doing a show. I have a serious question. Yeah. Do you know anything about the new game, Call of Duty Black Ops? It's amazing. No. And we're talking about it later in the show. Will you really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is probably the most exciting episode I've ever seen because I really want to get that game. Okay, relax, Katie. Okay, I'm so... Okay. Okay, pull through it. I need watch. Okay. Okay, bye. Don't, don't. Bye, Katie. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, shout out to Kristen. Love you. Okay, so. She wanted me to do it. Okay. So, Windows Phone 7. Yeah. Let's start off by saying oh. Windows Phone 7 okay, is back the stupidest name for a cell phone. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's not really a cell phone. It's an operating system built into new phones. Just yeah, like Windows. that's tiles. That's all it is. Okay, so the, they tried to produce something uh, Windows or Microsoft tried to come out with a, a phone that was just based off um, the um, like social networking. They tried to just do it off. Everything was Facebook, pretty much. Facebook, MySpace, all the screens. That's all it showed. You came up and it's easy to read everything. But people didn't like that. They wanted more cell phone than just Facebook. If they wanted just a Facebook, they'd buy a laptop. So it it wasn't. It didn't it was very popular. It sold a hundred. 200 copies in like the first couple of months. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. not good. No. Uh, but then when, you know, now Windows Phone 7's out, and I think it's actually doing pretty well for itself. They're advertising it out not a bad. lot. Yeah, they, a lot. Uh, and they're putting out. They're not this. holding back on the advertisement. Definitely not. It's Microsoft, though. Yeah. I mean, they're the ones who came but up with. But the whole thing is, is that the they're, everything's not, everything's a tablet. Everything's a tile. I mean. Yeah. Everything's a tile. The entire thing's a tile. And I didn't really understand the difference between the iPhone and the iPhone 7. I mean, the i... Whatever. Windows. Windows Phone 7. Um, made by a different company. I, I, I got that, but... I mean, Tom, Tom, Tom. If you really think about it, there's a bunch of different... There's a bunch of different, um, like, 
operating systems, I want to say, for phones that look almost exactly like the iPhone. If Ty, uh, Eric, if you could switch over to the next camera, the back camera, the camera three. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay, move over. <laughs> That's good. Okay. What is the difference between <laughs> the like you still have your tile like you still have tiles in this. Like I mean they're still square. I mean each thing they're is not like, as big. Each thing is called an application on the iPhone, but on the Windows seven phone, it's just a different thing you can select. It's the same thing. It's kind of Kind of pointless, if you ask me. Um, kind of stupid. I uh, I don't really know. But um, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I stupid. like. I just don't. I just don't get it because, like they said, um, their big promotion was, well, like you a can six. What? <laughs> oh. uh, I like it. That's a... Their big promotion was, oh, well, you can connect your Xbox Live account oh. to the i to the i to the i uh windows phone 7 gasp so i i'm like you know something i'm like i bet you could do this for the iphone so and there I, is an app there's an app yeah. for that it cost me three dollars but <laughs> three dollars three dollars uh such a waste yeah well i had the money to do that tom um you calling me poor oh uh, yeah thanks um but it, it, there's nothing special about it. It's like, oh yeah, okay, well, and I guess they're saying you could play some games that are connected to your uh, Windows Live account. Yeah. Uh, your Xbox Live, Xbox 360 Live account. I don't see a big deal about it. Yeah. Uh, at all. Yeah. So, so, I mean, they say, oh yeah, you could stream your mail, your calendar. It's so easy to keep in touch. It's crazy stuff. What can I do on my iPod? Same thing. Same thing. So it's, it comes up in colors and everything. So I mean, this way. I guess if you like Microsoft products, I mean, if you do, I'm I'm not saying I do. I'm not recommending it. But yeah. if you do, other than Apple products, the worst thing, the thing I don't like about the another thing I don't like about it is the text. It's not centered. It's off the screen. You ever notice that? Never played with one. <laughs> Pull it up. Pull uh, up an image. It's okay. It's okay. And you'll realize that. The when it says people, oh. yeah, not yet, Eric. No, no relax. Um, um, yeah, I mean, when it's it, just when it, when it says people. It's, no, it's, it's okay. I don't. When it says people, it's not centered. Like it's off the screen. It looks like, it looks like the screen, is the display is too small for the phone. Yeah, I mean, and then and, resolution but to see, issues. Well, no, 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 it's not. You would think, but yeah. you flip it over to the other side and you see the other part of the text. So <laughs> kind of a veil. Yeah. Way to go, programmers. Um, it, no, they purposely did it, but I mean, it's kind of, it just. It's no, super, I know, but the yeah. programmers are the ones that added oh, yeah. that in. They yeah. should have been like, wait a minute, I don't think this is such a good idea. <laughs> Tom, I think they, sh I think everyone in Microsoft should just say that about everything. A little everything. bit too much. <laughs> I don't know, but. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying that you can do anything that with an iPod. Yeah. iPad. That you, can, that you can that you can definitely do, do with this phone. With I wasn't expecting Microsoft to make this giant revolutional change. I love that voice. Yeah. But uh, I wasn't expecting that. everything they do. Internet Explorer Seven. Yep. They just awesome. copied Firefox and yep. Google Chrome and yep. try to make a new. Well, that's the thing. They're just is copycats. That Google Chrome is open source. Same oh, thing. Same snap. Windows has been doing it for years. They take the code from Ubuntu because mm -hmm. they're like, oh, Ubuntu did this. We like what they've done. They take the code. And then they integrate it into their system. Integrate it into Ubuntu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, there is nothing different that you could do with this that you could do with the Windows Phone Seven. If anything, I would recommend that just because this has tons of more apps. There's more you can do with this than the Microsoft Phone. Yeah. And there's no difference in the carrier. So overall, so Microsoft yeah, phones are yeah, kind of just I a bad would, idea. I was thinking about buying one it's like for, a, for kicks and giggles. It's like a walking hurricane, except it explodes in your pocket with fireworks. Do Wow. It's like a bottle rocket. You have fun once you get it, and then you realize it's junk, <laughs> and you throw it away. <laughs> yeah, no. So uh, we, in the lunchroom, we had a Windows phone, and we're working with it. We're like, oh my god, this sucks. <laughs> I mean, the operating system's junk enough. Why would you want to carry it with you? <laughs> I don't know. But, True. Um, but it's just like it's basically just a giant desktop. Uh, that's that's all it is. With that topic, I think we should go to a commercial. All right. Okay. See you in a sec. Call in two six two zero three two six five six three one zero. Anytime. Any questions? Bye.
The Cub Scouts, which was started in 1930, is the largest division of the Boy Scouts of America. It is a year-round family program designed for boys who are in the first through fifth grade. Its purpose is to provide activities for boys not old enough to join the Boy Scouts. Cub Scouting means doing. Everything in Cub Scouting is designed to have the boys doing things. It is aimed at citizenship, training, character development, and personal fitness. Some of the activities that are used to achieve these goals include academics, sports events, and camping. To learn more on how to participate in the Cub Scouts, visit www.scouting.org. That's www.scouting.org. Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to Let's Talk Tech. Today, now, we're pl talking about Black Ops. Which has to be one of the most amazing games ever. Al doesn't agree, but I have to say, it's amazing. I, I just... Yeah, I disagree. I'm blown away I don't by like this. It. The campaign, it, it just, it rocks your mind, but it's a little confusing. Dude, it's all about a guy sitting in a chair recovering his memories. Yeah, but the gameplay that it goes through, it's completely different. And I like the radical idea that they're trying to do, and my hair's messed up. And I like the crazy idea that they tried to play off here. It's, it's not done in any other video game that I really noticed. So, uh, I don't Maybe know. Maybe because, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. I just don't like it because I just see. It just seems like I lag when I'm not lagging. Um, I think Al just sucks. <laughs> I know I suck. I, I know I'm terrible at the game. I mean, I Al, you're I not lagging. Time. And and one of the things that I was definitely bummed and about. And I think it's just too fast. Like I mean, before you actually had a second. Yeah, killing to, to they, kill somebody, and now you don't. They even slowed realize down you got killing, killed. but um, they de they definitely sped up how fast you die. They slow. They moved your health lower, but um. They minimized your health, sorry. But uh, the thing I was bummed about was quick scoping. It, if you don't know what that is, it's when you have a sniper rifle and you quick scope in, you shoot someone, you quick scope out. It was like a game that everyone used to play in Modern Warfare 2. It got really popular it's and then now. it was gone. But it's back. Me and uh, my friends were playing around with the custom settings and uh, someone loaded a fault sniper rifle map and we we're like, what is this? What is this? And uh, yeah, it was the quick scope map. It worked great. It was just like quick scoping with just a variation. Um, throwing knife, mo it was a tomahawk now, but there's, it's still the sick stuff. I mean, great game. Good work. With the uh, campaign, um, it's confusing, um, and it is kind of a cliffhanger all the way to the end. You don't really know. But um, I can't say I was too shocked. I kind of saw it coming. Uh, I'm not going to give anything away, but I kind of saw it coming. I don't know. It just was kind of obvious to me, but other people maybe not so much. So. Yeah, no, I just, I mean, it's not a bad game. I'll play it. I play it constantly. It's my new Modern Warfare 2. I just play Modern Warfare 2 constantly. But uh, I, this is, you know, I just don't like, I just don't like some of the stuff. Uh, what's that, what's the map that I hate? Nuketown? Yep, Nuketown. That looks like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It's kind of um, creepy, but, um, oh, and an, another thing they took out was, um, they took out nukes. Nukes. The highest thing is uh, predator missiles. Chopper gun. They took out predator missiles because they were overpowered. Um, they, instead of just like going to one spot, now you have an RC car. It's a lower kill streak, but you Sox. have to drive to it. It's no, it's really good. Dude, I hate it's the annoying, RC but it's really good. Uh, they're not I'd overpowered so much at all. I'd rather have a predator missile fall on me than it. Than... Who cares how you die? You just suck. <sighs> okay, and um, sorry, I, I love you, but uh, some other. Interesting things that they definitely did with this. I mean, they they really try to balance everything out. I'd say the only really overpowered gun right now is something called the, um, it's like grill, G I U L. I don't even know what it is, but uh, it's unlocked at level twenty, and it's a light machine gun that has the power of an assault rifle and it's a three round burst. It's mental. So interesting. But lucky for most people, one, most people don't buy the gun because they think it's junk. And two, most people aren't even at level 20 yet, so it works out in people's Well, favor. except for the modders. 
Um, yeah, there's a few people, but I don't think a lot of people have done that. Okay, so um, yeah, call in live, 203-265-6310. And uh, please, we really need callers right now. Um, Besides Katie. Katie is a cool person. Yeah, but she calls in and she just randomly talks. Are you making <laughs> fun of Katie? She is a, a really cool person. And we need someone who does that because that kind of just shortens our time. Oh, okay. So, Katie, you want to call again? Seriously, did you just put that on your Facebook? Well, yeah, because... Please uh, call 203-265-6310 <laughs> during a show. Call. I should have just been like, call this number at Free Candy. I wonder if anyone would call. <laughs> I, I, I don't no, 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 Tom. Scroll up. Scroll up. What up? Scroll up. I want to show our viewers what you've posted. <laughs> <laughs> Al Mubihead. Okay, yeah, that's me, and that's the thing I posted, and Al's just being... Yeah. Yeah, okay, so, um, <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't know why I was flipping out about that, but... Yeah, uh, I just find it funny, because now everyone's going to call and be like... <laughs> Hello? Everyone's going to randomly call that Hello? fax machine's going to be going crazy. Yeah, right, Al, like anyone watches our show or stalks my Facebook. <laughs> True. So, um... Black Ops. The campaign, um... One of the longest campaigns, but if you if it's not long, it, the longest in my opinion because a lot of it is just fillers. A bunch of ma uh, what I mean by fillers is just a bunch of spaced out, um, kind of not needed <laughs> sections of the game where you kind of do nothing. Like I remember yeah, this I one agree. part where you're just you're injured and you come out of a chair and then you walk around for like thirty minutes. Because you're injured, it takes forever to get someplace, and the target just keeps moving to where you have to go. You open a bunch of doors, you don't kill anyone, well, you just keep walking, and finally, you're still in the base, you get punched. And I was like, this what is about, stupid. What it's about not. Modern Warfare 2, where you were in that helicopter, Yeah. and then you had to shoot people, and then you would die anyway? No, you didn't even, you couldn't shoot people. You couldn't even shoot people? No, you were just crawling, and once yeah. you got outside, you died. It was, it was, yeah, it, that it's kind of like that, where it's just kind of a pointless section of the game where you don't need to do it, but... Yeah, it's they threw it in there for kicks and giggles. Yeah, kicks and giggles. So <laughs> definitely, definitely, um, not the longest, but for yeah, time I, playing, I beat I, it on. I feel Betcher. sorry that I put it on rush delivery. I don't. I, Thank I you. bought it and I put it on one day rush delivery, and I'm just like, mm. it's not. It's not a bad game. I like it's it. It's not. It's not terrible. It's Al, I paid for the rush delivery. What are you complaining about? I paid ten dollars for I the paid, rush delivery. I paid a total you only of paid the game. I paid the rush <laughs> delivery. Who I cares? Seventy dollars. Complaint. Uh, you, 60. It was only 60. You 70 for 10? rush delivery. Yeah. I gave you 10. All right, whatever. I paid rush delivery. Don't complain. So, okay. So not a bad game. Um, definitely not a bad game. Campaign, good. Another thing they included back from not Modern Warfare 2, but from Call of Duty 5. Nazi zombies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Like I was saying, and Al <laughs> rudely interrupted me. Nazi zombies, they're back, and um, better than ever, if in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> better than ever. <laughs> back and better than ever. <laughs> yes. They are rocking. I don't even know. They're making my bed rock. I swear to God. They are amazing. That's well, not creepy. <laughs> Nazi zombies make my bed rock. They're really cool. Okay? You have no idea. Okay, so. That's really creepy. Well, with Patrick, it's fine. That's creepier. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Patrick, Tyler, Quentin in a bed, make it rock with Nazi zombies. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm done with that. But still, Nazi zombies is pretty good. Uh, it's basically that you just have a swarm of zombies that are always attacking you. You have to like defend yourself. And you, as you go on, you get guns and weapons. You have to buy them. And um, it's much more challenging. And it's like everlasting. It's insane. Uh, like I believe an everlasting gobstopper? More everlasting. Really? Yeah. So, like, you have no idea. It's legit stuff. So, um, I think the leader and the number one person got to 53 right now. And uh, that's really insane. I've gotten to 26 with a bunch of people. And great game. Uh, Nazi Zombies is fun. Definitely play it. It's I, You know something? You know what would be interesting is if we just brought the game up here and started playing it on, on air. Mm, I think that would bore people. People would be like... Uh, maybe we, we could download a movie clip because there's theater now of us quick scoping and just show them a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. Or just like an introductory video. Could do that. Okay, so uh, next time, even though we probably won't be talking about Black Ops, we'll throw a little introductory video somewhere 
of uh, just probably at the end. Probably new. My friend's making second. a quick scope montage now um, because we finally got quick scoping back, and theater makes it really easy to edit the clips. And we've already gotten a bunch of really good clips, so we'll show you why, that. Why don't you tell? Why don't you tell? Because we have nothing to talk about. Uh, why don't you tell them how to record off of their video, off their video game system, Tom? Because <laughs> you don't know how, how, and why are you talking in <laughs> sections, how? <Alan>. Okay, <laughs> there's not a comma after every word, how. <laughs> okay, so um, recording. There's this new feature on Black Ops where another... Thank you. Hello, V Gates. Welcome to Let's Talk. Hi. Yo. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> I love you. Patrick. No. Wait, who is this? Steven. Steven? Yeah, hey, Steven. I was bored. I saw it on Facebook. You were, like, doing this show. <laughs> Small. <laughs> Don't see, you see, respond see. to that? Okay, yeah. I, um, oh, I thought you were Patrick. I don't know. You sound like Patrick. What's up? So, I, like, called. <laughs> I see that, but, uh, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored. I don't have anything to do. I told you to come down to the Dude, studio. Okay, ask us a question. About Black Ops. Uh, <laughs> two plus two is four. Like Great it? question, Steven. I gotta go. I'm kidding. What? Do you like the game Black Ops? I do. Al doesn't. I, 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 I know. I, I already accomplished that from both of you. Okay. Why is there one P in ops? Why is there a T in ops? It's an abbreviation. Really? Yeah. You guys having fun? Is Kobe there? Kobe, Kobe is, is not, not here. Thank God. Oh, I thought I heard Kobe's voice. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Black oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So, um... Hey, so what's up, Steven? Not much. Just chilling. Chilling with your home dog? You have a dog? Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a dog, yeah. That's cool. I thought you had cats. Yeah. yeah my we cats, need to they're locked out of my room. Yeah. Oh. What are their names? Uh, Fluffy and... Oh, I can't say that crap. Mr. Jingles? Yeah, I was going to say call or something else, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, something not... Appropriate for this. We thing. got the idea, Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Have a nice day now. They called in. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, we're very excited. You're. We're calling. very excited. You called in because, like, like we we were gonna do videos, and then like the videos were failing, so I tried again, and then they failed again, and then they failed here. So I'm just like, well, screw it. And I'm, we're just gonna go out through the show, and hopefully That's people cool, call in. Al. We risked it for biscuit, and I did risk it for biscuit, and I risk too much. Well, you, Al, <laughs> the weirdo. Oh, okay. Well, I'll talk to you later, Steve. All right. Yep. I'm gonna text you. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Do you know Pat's number? No. Eight six seven five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Later, bro. Okay. Bye. Bye. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that was Stephen Floyd. Yeah, Stephen Floyd. What a great guy. Shout out to Stephen Floyd. He's been here before on the show. Uh, yeah. He's in our last episode. episode. Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. Is this Tom? It is Tom. Who's this? Hi, Hi Tom. Hi. Um, I was wondering, do you know any scientific equations that I can have as a gift? <laughs> <laughs> Like a Christmas gift or like a birthday gift? Am I on TV? Are you? Put me, put me on TV! <laughs> you are. Who is this? <laughs> My locker's right near yours, but I'm not going to tell you who I am. <laughs> Creeper. Okay. Am I really on TV? You really well, are. Well, watch your channel, 18, on... I'm not in Wallingford. Well, go on to WPA.TV and watch us live. Are you really talking to me, Tom Billings? Yes, who is this? My name rhymes with... My name rhymes with... Amanda Bachman. Yeah, I thought so. Amanda Bachman. No, 
it's not. <laughs> of course it's true. Oh, okay. See you later. Bye. Wait, Aaron has a question about science. This isn't a science show. <laughs> Wait, what is, what is this show? <laughs> okay, bye, Amanda. Really? Bye, Aaron. Wait, Wait is Sevy with you? I have a question. Is Sevy with you? Um, I'll tell you if you answer my question. No, thanks. What is this show about? <laughs> computers. Okay, Technology. I'm, okay, my computer's broken. Um, how do I fix it? <laughs> Hold on. Unplug it and buy a new one. Now, I have a question. Bless you. If the pollution of the air <laughs> is about... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happens to everyone. <laughs> the pollution in America is increasing every 2.5 minutes. Okay. Hello? Air. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Okay, so... Pretty yeah, thank you for calling Amanda Bachman, or... Banda Bookman, whatever she said it rhymed with. Uh, yeah, thanks for calling so much. Uh, love your call, always. Kinda. I was just stupid. Kinda funny, but. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even a worth trying. Prank. Yeah, wait, one's Call me. You're texting? I'm trying to get. Hello, what's up? Let's talk back. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boom. Ah! Bye. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> that was a bit band of Bachman again. And, um, yeah. Thank you for calling. Great joke. I was surprised at the boo. Um, oh, here's some jokes. I went to the circus yesterday. It was intense. Get it? Get it? I got intense. It. I got it. I got it. Why does no one go I to Chili's? It. It's too cold. Oh, my God. Thanks, Mr. Ruffle. Jerry. The rent is too damn high. Hello? The rent is too damn high. What's up? Hi. Hi. I have a question about, um, do you know anyone who knows how to fix a computer? No. <laughs> Called the wrong show. This is, <laughs> this is for rescued endangered animals. Not yet. I have an animal that needs to be rescued. <laughs> not, not. No, 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 wrong show. This is for... Oh my god, I have a knock-knock <laughs> A knock knock joke. Knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> no one, because you hung up on them. Exactly. See? Okay, so. Black Ops, good game. Great game. Great game, but there is some issues with it. I think it's actually going to be resolved. Uh, um, once people, hope, once not, a big issue playing. that came out for Black Ops was uh, the networking. Uh, it's Their connection is junk right now. Hello. Welcome to Let's Talk Tech. I have a question. But Bachman, stop calling! <laughs> okay. Don't mute it. And the phone has to be on to mute it. It is on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, they literally just called me. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were hanging up and we... Uh oh. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, they have a connection issue when you try to join... Sometimes you'll just randomly be kicked for no apparent reason. It'll just yeah, not in I a game, that. but in a party, it'll be like or it just uh, takes lost forever host. to get into a chat. Get into that a is probably not enough people have it right now. I think it is that there's too many people playing it. Not too many people playing it. Not enough people have it. I think that's the issue. Um, a lot of people bought it, but Tom, not there's like three million people that bought it the first day. Yeah, but not enough people are playing it. Okay, that makes any sense to you. Well, who's playing it? Who is playing People it? who haven't beat the campaign yet. <laughs> well, it's fun. You know something? I've got to find out who's playing it right now on my friends list. Answer the phone. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Let's Talk Tech. I swear to God, this is Amanda. <laughs> I can't really hear that. Black Ops. Did you hang up? Black Ops. DD, DR2. Only two people. You have no friends. Um, um, yeah, so Black Ops, great game. Little bugs that they hopefully are going to fix. I think most of the bugs are internet related. And that well, they're all, in, I, think, I think it's all internet related. And that really has to do with Microsoft more. Microsoft yeah. sided than Black Ops released. So it's not Treyarch. The game is decent. Bring back quick scoping, legit. I'm just saying, but you know they're not going to. Hello, welcome to the Talk Tech. <sighs> Hello. 
Well, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. We're going to go to a little commercial break. Commercial. You can call us in the meantime. Um, thanks for watching. We'll be back in a sec. The Cub Scouts, which was started in 1930, is the largest division of the Boy Scouts of America. It is a year-round family program designed for boys who are in the first through fifth grade. Its purpose is to provide activities for boys not old enough to join the Boy Scouts. Cub Scouting means doing. Everything in Cub Scouting is designed to have the boys doing things. It is aimed at citizenship, training, character development, and personal fitness. Some of the activities that are used to achieve these goals include academics, sports events, and camping. To learn more on how to participate in the Cub Scouts, visit www.scouting.org. That's www.scouting.org. Welcome back to Let's Talk Tech with enthusiasm now. And we're talking about Facebook deals. Facebook, Facebook deals. 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 Facebook, Facebook deals. Welcome back. So Facebook deals is um, basically on, when you go on Facebook, you can log where you are in now. That was an update a little while ago. Not It's kind of recent though. A couple months ago. So now that you um, can log where you are, you can also, <sighs> hello, welcome to Let's Talk Tech. What? Hey guy. Hi. I thought we told him the show was over. <laughs> I think it's a different person. <laughs> I do have 600 and something friends on Facebook. <laughs> and all of them are just like, ooh, a show, let's call it. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Immature people. Um, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah. I love all okay. of you. So, Facebook Each and deals. every one of Facebook you. Facebook deals. Facebook, keep on the topic. I'm talking about Facebook. Okay. Facebook <laughs> deals. Okay, so basically there's an update that came out that let you post your location, basically. And um, so now that you can know where your location is, Facebook knows, which is kind of creepy, to be honest. I would never use this. But this feature is kind of cool, where if you mark where you are and it's a store, basically, I don't want to buy you now. <laughs> no insecurity. Okay, so basically what you can do is um, you can say, the, now the shop that you're in, it would say it's like Panera Bread. You go into Panera Bread and... Um, Advertising. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, so you go into a store, random store. Command. It's called um, <laughs> <laughs> Command Store. That's what it's called. Please say com Okay, so you go into a store. Basically, whoever's in the store could say what the deals are. That they're going to have a 20% off coupon for bread. Yeah. Or they have a 20% off sale. So basically, any store that you walk into that you post your location to, anything, the store can go on if they have a Facebook group and post deals, which is quite convenient. Yeah. Very yeah. convenient. And if your friend, let's say um, Monica. <laughs> Monica. <laughs> um, calls in, uh, checks in in a certain store, and that store is offering a 20% 20 20 off deal, or 25% off deal, it will show up off. with a yellow that's piece of paper next to it. That's one fifth the sales price. Yep. And it will show up with a yellow slip next to the uh, next to that person, and that yellow slip means that there is a deal at that store, or at that location yeah, uh, that so. they have checked in at. Well, so if I so check in at Shein, it won't show. And there's a deal at Shein, which there will not be. Advertising. No, not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a public school. school. <laughs> okay, so basically, um, you can do this at any store, but the store has to have a Facebook group. It, well, these are the requirements. Any local store can do this, by the way. You just have to create a Facebook group and you can log sales. If you post the location to where you are, it will show up in the sales. So, but here's the downfall, uh, not released yet. It's not even in beta testing. It's like in Only, slight beta yeah, testing. Yeah, there's a, there's a few companies that have it, They're like, not too many. Um, it's like beta testing, companies. but like even ghettoer. 
It's really beta testing. But very pre. Very pre beta. Um, pre, 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 pre. Pre, 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 pre. Okay. Like a pre owned uh, car very, that yeah, is like very 200 pre years old. Uh, very pre. Uh, very, very pre. Yeah, premature. Premature. <laughs> very premature. That's how it's starting. So. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it's. It's not yeah. out yet. It's not. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But it will be for any company who wishes to use it. Uh, this is for commercial and non-commercial companies, for schools and private schools, for, uh, I don't know. What would you need for a private school? <laughs> what would you need for a school? Bake sale. <laughs> <laughs> 10% off all our old baked goods from last year. <laughs> yes, I'm going to that. What's wrong with that? Maybe I'm hungry. Maybe 10% off is decent. Do you know what 10% off is? Nope. But I do get old donuts at night at a store. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically like advertising without actually advertising. Okay, stop. We're going to get like kicked off this show for advertising. It's like the third advertisement. Not really. But we haven't really advertised anything. We, we haven't really advertised We've anything. like... We, we're in, just like store. Yeah. So... Very, we got to be very general, then. It's not advertising. Yeah. yeah. we got to be careful about what we advertise on the show. Yeah, if we say a ruler, but if we say the ruler, advertising. <laughs> oh, my. Shruffle. Uh Yeah, so Facebook deals, not out yet and still in beta. Uh, very convenient when it does come out because you could just go um, find the deal. What? This could be a... I don't see this taking off just because a lot of people don't use the Google location. But if Google not, location takes off and Google. small, it's Facebook. I mean Facebook, <laughs> Facebook location. That's what I meant. No one used Facebook location. So if the Facebook location takes off and a lot of small businesses around town start using this, I can see this taking off. If the location on Facebook starts taking off, um, I don't it see that working. Kind of has. I don't see that working though. Kind of, but not really. Um, the the only problem with the whole thing of locations is that it's creepy. People that stalk you. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm at such and such a place. Okay, let me drive there. It's five minutes away. Well, on a website, I am mayor, I'm mayor of four places. Oh, yeah, the website that shows your location. Yeah. Because I've checked in many times at the BPA and the school and the school field. You advertise WPA. How dare you? Well, I advertise their own studio. That's true. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just kind of joking around. WPA is where we're at, so we can kind of advertise it. I'm sure they don't mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you want to watch us uh, on WPAA, you can watch us here at 8 o'clock. Uh, you mean come in and watch? Mm, I, don't know. I really don't care. I usually lock the doors, so they can't really come in and watch us because uh, the doors are locked. Genius. Yeah. Come in and watch. The door will be locked. <laughs> but, trust me. but you can watch us online at WPA.tv um, uh, and click on watch live. Or you can, and if our stuff actually gets recorded like uh, it hasn't in the past. But it four might episodes, soon will be, possibly, not sure. Maybe. Maybe. If it actually gets recorded, uh, it will be up live on the video on demand where you can watch it on the we'll, we'll WPA see about website. That. I, don't, I don't know. And I upload them to, I try and upload them to Blip. I need to really get on that. Yep. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we're going to, well, what time are we at? Okay. We yeah. only have, um, well, your 20 minutes. Your left? intro, your tutorial is going to take up like a while. No, I don't even know what I'm doing with HTML. How long is HTML going to take up? Tom, show uh, what do we got here. UL lists? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> For 20 minutes. Please say a command. No, I'm not You can always say a command, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, I have a better idea. Are you calling, Pat? <laughs> Zero, three, eight, eight, seven. Okay, that didn't work out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, basically, I, I was trying to call my friend, see if he could discuss Black Ops with me, but uh, sadly, he's not. Why don't you call Joe? I don't know his number. I don't know his number either. Why don't you call TJ? I don't know if TJ doesn't have it. Um, 
<laughs> We're looking through Gondex to call people. Wait. Who are you calling out? Joe. <laughs> who? Joe who? Who's on I told you he had his number. I have. I looked. Hey, hey Joe. Joe. Who's this? Thomas hey. and Alan on Let's Talk Tech. What the fuck? <laughs> Bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no more calling people. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Joe. Hello? Uh, hello? Welcome to Tech. Oh. Yeah. Yo. Why'd oh. you call me? Oh, you can't you. swear, bro. Oh, well, I... What the hell are you... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we're gonna talk... Do you want to talk about Black Ops with us on the show? Without swearing? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Okay, okay, so... <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hello, welcome to StarTech. Again? Joe? Hello? It's the same person I called <sighs> way before and the time before that. Oh, uh, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the oh my god. Hello, welcome to StarTech. Oh, good thing you can't help but laugh in the background. Hello? Hello? I think it's laughing. Welcome to Skype call testing service. Oh, it's annoying. <laughs> okay, so, um, after that fun calling spree, let's do something else. <laughs> We're going to talk about... We're going to go to a commercial break. <laughs> yes. We're going to go to a commercial break. We'll be back in one second. The Cub Scouts, which was started in 1930, is the largest division of the Boy Scouts of America. It is a year-round family program designed for boys who are in the first through fifth grade. Its purpose is to provide activities for boys not old enough to join the Boy Scouts. Cub Scouting means doing. Everything in Cub Scouting is designed to have the boys doing things. It is aimed at citizenship, training, character development, and personal fitness. Some of the activities that are used to achieve these goals include academics, sports events, and camping. To learn more on how to participate in the Cub Scouts, visit www.scouting.org. That's www.scouting.org. Okay, back. welcome back to Let's Talk Hack. We're on the phone, live. Oh, With someone that actually <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> wants okay. to talk to us. <laughs> this is Patrick Duffany on the phone, and uh, say hi, Patrick. What up, kids? Okay, so this is Patrick Duffany, and um, we're going to be discussing Black Ops for hopefully the next 15 minutes. The right way. Yes, without swears <laughs> and hopefully. I, got, I don't got that much time on my hands. Okay, so five minutes, maybe two, whatever. Just talk. Okay, so how do you feel about Black Ops? Oh, uh, they should have. They shouldn't have taken out quick scoping. I know that for a fact. Yeah, I mean that's stupid. But ha do you like the game that um, Tyler found? Um, which one was that? He found a lot. The the quick scope thing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you add a what is that? The variable scope onto the uh, L96A1, you can actually legitimately quick scope. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sick now. Yeah, that's decent. I mean that's fun. Um, like you said, if you add the certain scope onto the L26, so Tom, whatever. What? You spelled Black Ops wrong on the screen. Well, it's Let's abbreviation. Oh. No, you spelled O-P-T-S. Yeah. It's supposed okay. to be O-P-P-S. Okay, continue. <laughs>
Okay, yeah, that's what I put, but Tyler changed, so. Or, Eric. Eric. I'm messed up with names today. Dude, Tyler doesn't even work here. I know. I, I work here. I was talking about Tyler. Oh. Okay. okay, so, um, anything else you like to discuss about the game? How do you like the campaign? Um, the campaign is actually good. It's probably one of the best that they've had in COD so far. That's yeah. so such a lie. No, it's good. You haven't even played it. Dude, Bring it on, son. I, I don't. <laughs> Bring it on. Okay. Why don't you like the campaign? Yeah. Because I don't like the fact that it's telling, it's all about a guy telling a story in a chair where he's like just strapped to. But it makes it interesting. It yes. makes it, you're confused right off the bat. Exactly. It's the point. Okay. I think it's too short. That was an awful point. It's, too <laughs> it's short. the longest <laughs> con. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you should just leave the room right <laughs> yeah. now. Just no, I'm literally just shooting points. Um, you haven't played it yet, have you? Uh, I haven't played the full one. I'm you, that, then you can't draw any conclusion yeah. that it is too long. I mean, too short. <laughs> yes. I mean, so it's it's like, oh, it. five minutes. Wait, didn't you just come short. to like the Cuban part where you have to? No, I'm past that. Where'd you get? I to? don't know where I am. Okay. <laughs> you like just beat the Cuban part, the very beginning. Well, I, I spend most of my time on live. Yeah. Okay. So in that crappy map, that looks like Mr. Ratchet did right. New town. Yep. Oh yeah, Tom. Yeah. And you know to unlock the map, so you have to t uh, get out of the chair and type in three arc unlock, right? Yeah. Okay. So there's a little cheat in Black Ops where um, if you hit the L and R sticks really quickly on the main menu, um, where it says campaign on the top, you don't click campaign, but where it says it, uh, you get out of the chair, and if you go behind the chair, there's a computer where, you, and you type in something uh, three uh, arc three a r c. Yeah. Space unlock. Space unlock. Um, you get this weird coin zombie map and uh, very good game. Yeah, and then I was playing not to, and then that'll unlock all the zombie maps, uh, zombie maps, and all the uh, campaign maps. Yeah. And um, I was playing zombies with a few of my friends last night, and I found out that I got the death machine, which is like a Gatling gun with where it's like uh, double points, where it lasts for a certain amount of time. But when I got downed. And I got revived. I had the gun for the full time, so I don't know if you have it and you get downed. And when something revives you, you have the gun for a permanent game. I'm not sure if that works. We, I haven't tried it again, but it worked for me. Just pointing that out. <laughs> That's sick. I and got 1,200 kills or something like that, ranked 25th in the world. <laughs> nice. You're like, he's ranked 25th in the world? Yeah. Aren't you like yeah. 325, Tom? Yeah, something like that. What up? Oh. Tom's ranked like 300 something. Too bad. Yeah, we, I, went, like, I went and played it and I got to like 43, I think. I'm probably ranked like 32 million or something. <laughs> what? Me. <laughs> you never played Nazi Zombies. Exactly. So you're not ranked. So I'm still in like zero place? You're not in any place. You're no. I'm a no? Yeah. You're one of those outcasts who don't understand Nazi Zombies. Dude, can you play tonight? Yes. Okay, I'll be on a little while ago. Um, this is a show. We don't discuss our personal lives. <laughs> But we have 15 minutes to talk about I'm not exactly sure, and I have a scripting tutorial that's not going to last 15 minutes. Sounds sick. Yep. Um, I'm not exactly sure. It's just going to be basic HTML. It's not going to be like JavaScript for well, coding if you can, thoughts. If we can continue this conversation for five more minutes with Pat, and then after the five minutes, you can spend 10 minutes talking about... They play. I know. These kids. you got to slap them. What em. are we to do? <laughs> and and schoolwork and studying and cleaning their rooms. And they're just addicted to playing the games, I know. That's it's what they do. And so what do we do? I think we should have a big topic of discussion about that. Oh, that's a great idea. What parents <laughs> should do against <laughs> their child's addiction to black ops. <laughs> okay, he's taking the phone away. You guys rock. Okay, bye. <laughs> we rock. Yeah. Sorry for that slight intrusion. It's okay. We're gonna <laughs> tell your mom the only way to, to stop this is to uh, take Patrick's Xbox for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Dude, he would just go over someone's house and play. <laughs> nah, I'd be like, okay, um, Mom, I will be back after a month. <laughs> I'll be right back. I just got to go to um, Australia. <laughs> I'm walking, though, so, you know, got to get oh, in you shape. You know what I found funny, Tom? What? On Black Ops, it showed, like, how many people were playing. Yeah. And there was, like, there was America, oh, my God. Then Europe, yeah. Then nothing else. Yeah, I know. There's like three people in Mexico, two people in Brazil, I think like one, one person in Africa. Of Africa or something like that. <laughs> and then like just the east coast of Australia. Yeah. 
nowhere else. It was like, what? I don't know, that's a little weird. That's beast. Oh, so Tom, what do you think about the wager matches? Oh, that's G. I love um, Sticks and Stones. Yeah, I like Sticks I, I liked all of them, to be honest, but I haven't played Sharpshooter yet. I love Sticks and Stones. Oh my god. How dare you say something like that, Tom? What? <laughs> sticks and Stones? Sticks and Stones. Do you like Sticks and Stones? <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. It's a game where you have just a ballistics knife and mm -hmm. a crossbow that mm -hmm. shoots um, exploding... But bolts? Tips. Head yeah. Exploding tips, it beeps, and then you blow up. Yeah, it's just like the sickest game ever. Everyone has only those and just tanks it out. Oh, and the tomahawk. And the tomahawk. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Switch. go home. I'm gonna play some Black Ops. I'm playing one again. Quick scope. I gotta I... get. I gotta get footage for the show. <laughs> Seriously. You're getting footage for the show. No, That's when Tyler posts the, the game idea. up. When Tyler posts the game up on YouTube, I'll take it off and I'll put it on the show. Yeah, not of you though. You're not the best. Subject for well, I have a, I have a 360 tomahawk. He's gonna put in. You didn't nope. see it. It was sick. Well, you haven't seen my life. I 360 tomahawked and it bounced once and hit him in the face. Sounds crappy. Off a roof. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so um. Well, we have ten. Minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. Well, uh, thank you so much for talking, Patrick. Oh yeah, way to waste my life. <laughs> Do you have yeah. Not? yeah. yeah. Hello? Uh, Put up the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bye, Patrick. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. Hello, welcome to Suck Tech. Okay, so it's just random and blinking. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Suck Tech. Hi. <laughs> okay, so, um, we're gonna go to a short commercial break and we will be back Let's with see. HTML. Uh, commercial. Eric. <laughs> okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. Hello, I'm not okay. I mean, not on commercial yet. I know, it's <laughs> our producer. It's okay, he was just <laughs> doing something. Hey, you should get a new producer. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's an amazing person. He just was busy. The Cub Scouts, which was started in 1930, is the largest division of the Boy Scouts of America. It is a year-round family program designed for boys who are in the first through fifth grade. Its purpose is to provide activities for boys not old enough to join the Boy Scouts. Cub Scouting means doing. Everything in Cub Scouting is designed to have the boys doing things. It is aimed at citizenship, training, character development, and personal fitness. Some of the activities that are used to achieve these goals include academics, sports events, and camping. To learn more on how to participate in the Cub Scouts, visit www.scouting.org. That's www.scouting.org. Does it work with the laptop? Tom Hello, Lee. welcome to Suck Tech. <laughs> <laughs> yes, here we go. Okay, so this little section here is basically our filler. Um, we are kind of short on topics today, so we decided to show you a little bit about scripting, um, possibly what it is. Hello, welcome to Suck Tech, really quick. Hi, uh, my computer has a virus, and I was wondering if uh, you had a doctor you'd like to recommend. A doctor? Yeah. Dr. Scholes. <laughs> 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 you can okay. just... Uh, um, AVG antivirus. It's a free download. Search it on Google. It's great stuff. Okay, so um, yeah. Okay, so um, I don't know how to change font on this. You know what? Let's just use Notepad. <laughs> Notepad. Okay, so basically, what we're showing you is uh, a scripting tutorial. Uh, it's basically changing font on this format. Format font. Oh. <laughs> oh. And you're on my tech show, why? <laughs> okay, so we're going to show you how to script. So basically, this is just simple HTML, but um, I figured we should throw it in here because a lot of people don't understand scripting, and it's actually just really, it's not easy, it's just um, really repetitive and annoying, to be honest. But mm -hmm. it, it's fun once you get to learn it, so. 
OK, so um, basically, basic HTML, what you're going to start off with always is the, you don't have to have it uh, in HTML. Caps don't matter, but I always have them going to have it capped. So you can have it HTML. That's just. That's to tell the program that you're starting that you're actually writing an HTML document. Yes. You're not writing a text document. OK, and then you're going to end it, everything that you open pretty much, with a slash and then whatever you opened it with, so HTML. OK, so I'm going to do a bunch of fancy things that you don't really need to do. Why it went away, it's just down at the bottom. We're using huge text so for you to see it. OK, so um, I'm going to open up with something called a header. It's called, it's, the code is just head. Well, I, I keep going to cap I don't know. So head. You want to keep a script organized. That's like the key to. And then if you open head, you're going to want to close head. But first, I'm going to open title. <laughs> OK, so title. It's basically the title of your site. It's going to show up on that little uh, tab bar. It's going to show up of what it, you want it to be. And uh, to do a title, you just, now that you have the title open, you want to type in what you want the title name to be. You, you can put Make it here. Make sure you put in a closed. Or you can put it here. I'm going to put it here just to keep it organized. So uh, Good plan. Hello. Oh my god. Hello world. Hello world? Yes. OK, so and then you're going to end your title. And that's just your opening. Now, um, if you want to something called JavaScript, if you want to learn it here, you put it in your heading title before you're, you actually put your title in. But uh, that's for other scripts, CSS, PHP. But just for the main thing, you're going to put it in. Everything that's visual on your site, you're going to put it in the body which is just the m everything visual. Visual things goes in body. So, and then you're going to end body here. The end of the page. Uh, you can have multiple bodies, but I'm just making something simple. So, uh, OK, so here's what it is. HTML, head title, hello world, end title, end body. And then at the bottom here, you know, end body HTML. In between the body and the end body. Tom, you didn't put the end body right. Close. You got to make sure you got your slash for your close. Yep. OK, so that's the opening. That's the closing. So OK, in between the body, we're going to type in um, basically anything that is visual on the page, like I said, uh, goes here. So uh, something really easy, I would say, was just text, h1. You're going to put a bracket and then end h1. This is basically just easy text. Really easy text. You can have, uh, it stands for header, heading one. Uh, you can have five headings on a page. After that, it doesn't work. But you can just keep using heading one. That's what I do. Uh, and then basically, you just type in whatever you want to say. Uh, hello, viewers. Whatever. Hello, world. So, and that will show up as, so you're going to file, save as. Um, WPA documents. You're going to want to save it. If you're not using Vista, you see this whole thing. You save it as LOL, or whatever you want to call it, .htm. Yeah, make sure you save it as an HTML document. Otherwise, And then right here, you're going to document. scroll down to All Files and save. OK. So now what you did is made it openable in either Firefox or in Explorer. And um, I'm just going to open up here. OK, so now it's openable in Firefox. If you double click on it wherever you saved it, here's what's going to come up. Hello world, just text. And that's all we have time for. Um, yeah, we'll show you some other stuff maybe later or some other show. But uh, week. thank you for watching Let's Talk Tech. Bye. I think Details. we should have an interview for you. Yeah, we're going to have an interview with a uh, head Free person. Us. Free us. Creator of YouTube Instant. It's just Google, it's like Google Instant, but it's in with YouTube. YouTube. And um, we're going to maybe show you a little bit more HTML. Probably, maybe, I don't know, if we have time. Um, thank you so much for watching our show. Uh, we'll be back at Let's Talk Tech next Friday. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Thomas. And I'm See you around.